Renko chart is probably the most underrated trading concept, ignored by most traders. Although no single tool is going to instantly make you a great trader, Renko charts will allow you to see the market in a different way and will also help you to stick to your trading plan better. That's why in today's video we'll discuss about Renko charts and I'll share how to adjust them correctly for scalping and day trading. Renko charts are a new way to view the price of an asset that filters out minor price movements. The chart looks like a series of bricks placed at a 45 degree angle to each other. If you analyze these two charts, you immediately spot the striking difference between a regular candlestick chart and a Renko chart. You can see that those small fluctuations on classic charts are removed and price trends are easier to spot on the Renko chart. Renko charts are easier to read because the markers on the chart, which are called bricks, boxes or blocks, are more uniform compared to candlestick charts. Traditional candlestick charts plot new bars as time passes. For instance, a 1 minute chart will plot a new bar every minute. On the other hand, a Renko chart doesn't depend on time and plots a new bar only when the market moves beyond a certain amount. Being independent of time is the defining characteristic of a Renko chart. So, it depends only on price action, creating a smoothed chart with less noise. Each brick on a Renko chart is a candlestick with no shadows. You need only one key parameter for Renko charts, the brick size. The brick size is the price range that the market must cover before a new brick is plotted. You can set the brick size in pips, ticks or cents, depending on the market you are trading. And for a Renko chart to reverse, meaning the brick to change its color, price action must reverse by at least two brick sizes. Let's say you trade Forex and will pick the Euro JPY pair. If you want to set your brick size to 5 pips for example, you just have to adjust the settings of the Renko box size to 0.05. If you want a 10 pip box size, you set it to 0.1. I use TradingView by the way to trade with Renko bars. For JPB USD or for Euro USD, for a 10 pip brick size, you set the box size to 0.001. You can set the values of the box size depending on your trading style, scalping, day trading or swing trading, and you can change the value of the Renko chart to suit your trading needs. If you trade stocks, a box size of 1 is the equivalent of $1. I find this value to be perfect for swing trading and even day trading strategies. Every time the stock moves $1, a new brick is formed. Since the brick size is the only parameter, a successful Renko strategy is highly dependent on it. There are two methods used to set this parameter, fixed amount and average true range. First, let's talk about the fixed amount method. Using a set number of ticks, pips or cents as the brick size is the simplest method, but unless you are already familiar with the market, it's challenging to arrive at a suitable figure. You need some trial and error here. If you want to see more bricks plotted, reduce the size of the box size. This approach is indicated if you prefer scalping or day trading. If you enjoy swing trading, increase the box size and, in this way, less bricks will be plotted. Be careful not to use a brick size that's too small. If your brick size is too small, the Renko chart will be volatile. As a result, it loses its intended effect of smoothing price action. There is no rule that works for every single currency pair or stock. When I use Renko, I just eyeball the chart and try a few different box sizes. If it's too choppy, I try increasing the box size. Then I try decreasing it because there are trends to be captured within the choppy trading. Smaller boxes mean more trend changes and more trades. Big boxes mean fewer trend changes and fewer trades. Second approach involves the average true range for brick sizes. The advantage of this method is that it factors in changes in price volatility. A typical value is the 14 period ATR, so the brick size is based on the ATR value at the time the chart is created. If the ATR value changed the next day, then this new ATR value will be used to set the brick size. Which one is better? I prefer the fixed value because the ATR value might change and can cause the Renko chart to change significantly whenever it's updated. That's just my preference, but I know a few traders that use the ATR brick size successfully. One characteristic of Renko charts that should be understood is that the charts don't show all price points. Consider that you are using a Renko brick of 3 pips and price moves 5 pips in the opposite direction. 
since that is not enough price movement to make another Renko break. There will be two pips of price that doesn't show on the Renko chart. When I first started day trading Renko charts, this bothered me a lot, especially after trading with time and classic candlesticks for so many years. There are indicators that add weeks to the Renko bricks to show these prices, but this start to add some of the noise back to the chart. It's up to you if you want to add or remove the wicks on the Renko bars. So the most important step in creating a successful Renko strategy is setting the size of the brick. It may be 10 cents in the stock market or 10 pips in the forex market. What you must remember is that the brick forms on the Renko chart once the price has moved that amount and not before. A candlestick chart on the other hand shows the price movement over a period of time, such as one minute or one day. While there is a time axis along the bottom of a Renko chart, there is no set time limit for how long a Renko box takes to form. It could take 4 minutes, 3 hours or 8 days. It all depends on how volatile the price of the asset is and what brick size you set. So Renko charts ignore the time aspect and only focus on price changes. If the brick value is set at 10 points, a move of 10 points or more is required to draw another brick. Price movements less than 10 points would be ignored and the Renko chart would remain unchanged. Renko charts are more useful for day traders and scalpers for spotting trends, areas of support and resistance, breakouts and reversals. The chart's simplicity can make it easier to see those price action and signals for making trades. This is because Renko chart filters the noise by focusing exclusively on minimum price changes. Renko bricks are not added unless price changes by a specific amount. Thus, it's easy to spot important highs and lows and identify key support and resistance levels. Armed with this information, you can identify uptrends by analyzing higher highs and higher lows or downtrends with lower lows and lower highs. The stronger the trend, the more Renko blocks will be plotted. Renko charts are particularly good at finding support and resistance areas because they condense long but static periods. This makes it easier to see where price support and price resistance is occurring. Renko charts are very visual to display obvious support and resistance levels. With classic candlestick charts, there is a lot of subjectivity and extra work that goes into identifying good and precise areas of support and resistance. In this example, notice how simple it is to plot the support and resistance levels. And most important, notice how price reacts to the support and resistance levels to the right side of the chart. Even if you prefer to use candlesticks, using Renko as a tool to find these price levels will help you a lot to find the best areas to trade from. Also, as with support and resistance identification, chart patterns are also much easier to recognize on a Renko chart. This Renko chart shows several classical chart patterns. I can spot an inverted head and shoulders, a double top, a flag pattern, triangles, and so on. With the bricks on the Renko chart, you can spot price clusters quickly. These clusters are great demand and supply zones. A simple guideline is to look for boxes formed by alternating bricks within a price range. This example shows how a Renko chart highlighted an effective supply zone. You can notice several Renko bricks within the same price range, which projected a supply zone, which was respected by the market later on. Renko charts can also be helpful for uncovering trends and patterns that are obscured in time-based charts and for simplifying complicated chart structures. When the price is trending, Renko charts provide a simple way to stick with the trend don't exit until there is a reversal, a confirmed box of the opposite color. You can use typical technical analysis to help identify potential turning points or the start of a trend and then use Renko charts to stick with the trend. Or you could simply trade based on Renko. A new box color equals a potential trend change, but that doesn't mean a new position must be initiated right away. This method can result in lots of losing trades when the price is choppy. Use Renko charts as an additional tool in conjunction with support and resistance levels. I encourage you to use Renko only on certain forex pairs and stocks that trend well. Find the box size that allows you to capture the bulk of the price moves, but also minimizes the consolidation periods. Unfortunately, the consolidation periods can't be avoided. If the price is oscillating back and forth, 
so will Renko charts. For this reason, I prefer to add a moving average to the Renko charts to keep me on the right side of the trend. Very important, the moving average will be computed using the Renko bricks, not the actual bars. Therefore, I advise you to use shorter period averages because the Renko technique is filtering out most of the market noise already. Renko charts are not perfect and have their limitations. A few drawbacks have already been addressed. First, Renko charts are not so helpful in choppy periods. Also, the simplification of Renko charts comes at a cost because some price information is lost. A third limitation is related to the fact that price has to move quite a bit to cause a reversal. As always, if you learned something new and found value, leave us a like to show support, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay notified when we upload new videos. Until next time.